West Siberian Laika A breed of versatile hunting dogs used for hunting, primarily for large game, but also excellent for small fur animals and game birds. In relation to people, she is not at all aggressive, tolerant of a society of her own kind, if she is not bullied. Hardy, tireless. It is difficult to keep in urban conditions, it needs regular physical activity, it does not tolerate heat well. West Siberian Laika is an excellent working dog. Greedy for the beast, unpretentious, huskies are able to work for days and be content with a meager amount of food, sleep in the snow, help the owner drag sleds or guard the house, malice towards a person, is atypical for the breed. West Siberian Laika is used for a variety of hunting, for fur-bearing animal squirrel, marten, sable, mink, ferret, ungulates, elk, deer, wild boar, as well as for bear, upland game, willingly works on a duck. Its popularity is explained not only by its harmony and beauty, but above all by its working qualities, endurance, and the ability to adapt to a variety of conditions. The breed was bred by hunters and sinologists mainly on the basis of local varieties of huskies in the northern Urals and western Siberia. At the beginning of the 20th century, in connection with the development of the Urals and Siberia and the change in the way of life and way of life of Aboriginal peoples, the state of local varieties of huskies began to deteriorate. Laika and Mendeleev Dmitriev Selima wrote about this in her wonderful book. In 1925, the first Siberian Laika standards were adopted, which, unfortunately, are far from complete. In 1939 the standards were changed. Modern names appeared only in 1947, and real work with breeds began only in the 50s and 60s of the 20th century. The modern West Siberian Laika is a descendant of predominantly Canty and Mansi hunting dogs with minor additions of blood from other local varieties. Traces of the merging of these two pronounced types are visible, and still some dogs can be confidently attributed to the Mansi or Cantian composition. This breed is a unique creation of man and nature. She was born in a dispute between artificial selection and natural. On the one hand, man participated in the creation, on the other hand, Her Majesty Nature. The eternal dispute between man and nature. A man selected individuals useful for himself, that is, working dogs, his majesty nature mercilessly called those unadapted to the harsh conditions of life in the taiga. She called individuals that could not withstand frost, heat, and were not able to multiply rapidly. The history of the breed. Like other Laika breeds, the West Siberian Laika is descended from outsider wolves whose descendants were used by Kanti and Mansi hunters in Tsarist Russia. The official description of Russian Laikas with a very confusing taxonomy of breeds based on the ethnographic principle proposed by Sharinsky Shikmatov was published in 1925. In 1939, temporary standards for five breeds of Laikas were formulated and adopted at the All Union Sinological Conference, and purposeful breeding activities began. Within the framework of the Zagatsev Suryo and Centrosoya systems, in 1942, about 70 state breeding kennels of hunting dogs were created with a planned population of 1,800 dogs of all breeds. In 25 nurseries exclusively huskies were bred, in 27 nurseries the number of huskies prevailed. The Kanti and Baga Laika breeds, originating from local livestock from the forest regions of the Ob Basin and the Northern Urals, differed from other breeds in their higher growth, harmonious build, balanced behavior, strength and endurance. In 1947, E.I. Shiroshevsky proposed a new classification of Laikas on a geographical basis. This classification was based on the assumption that crossbreeding of local varieties occurs within a large geographic region. In 1952, a new classification of breeds was adopted, and in 1954, new breed standards for Laikas were approved, Russian-Finnish, Russian-European and West Siberian. Although the Ostyak and Vaga Laikas, combined into one breed, were geographically close and similar in terms of hunting conditions, and, accordingly, in terms of working qualities, experts still distinguish the Kanti and Mansi types in the West Siberian Laika breed. As part of the original breeds, West Siberian Laika inherits the gene pool of the Zuryansk, Ural, Udmurt, Evenki, Lamek, Nenets Laikas, as well as the infused blood of German shepherds and even dingoes. It is believed that the breed in its modern form was created in the famous Krasnaya Zvezda kennel by order of Stalin. The sinologist N. B. Paluzadov selected the best representatives for selection work in the Urals. Work with the West Siberian Laika was carried out in the Vnias nursery and the nurseries of the Sverdlovsk, Moscow, Perm, Novosibirsk regions. The breed was recreated mainly on the basis of outcross and line breeding of the descendants of two males Taiga and Zuber. West Siberian Laika, thanks to a combination of exceptional hunting abilities and the qualities of a companion dog, quickly gained prestige among hunters, displacing local Laika offspring. The dogs had an outstanding sense of smell, were hardy and quick-footed, distinguished by courage and perseverance in the pursuit of the beast. 
At the same time, unlike many primitive breeds, these huskies were famous for their attachment to their owner and loyalty. An unusual appearance for huskies also played a significant role in the popularity of the breed. This breed was especially popular in the 60 to 70s of the 20th century, when the number of exhibitors in the breed was in the hundreds and the import of puppies was in the thousands. West Siberian Lycas are popular in forested areas throughout Russia and are the most numerous of all Lyca breeds. Its versatility has won it recognition among hunters around the world. Appearance This is a dog of medium to above average height. The height at the withers of males is from 55 to 62 cm, females from 51 to 58 cm. The height at the sacrum in males is 1 to 2 cm lower than the height at the withers, in females it is equal to or lower by 1 cm. The skin is dense, elastic, without folds. The head is dry, sharply wedge-shaped when viewed from above, approaching in shape an elongated isosceles triangle with a moderately wide skull. The females have a head already. The cranial part is elongated, oval with a pronounced occipital protuberance, underdeveloped parietal crest and zygomatic arches. The transition to the muzzle is pronounced, but not abruptly. The muzzle is long, sharp, but not narrow, with some extension in the area of the canines, the back of the nose is slightly sloping. The length of the muzzle is approximately equal to or slightly less than the length of the skull, its profile is moderately wedge-shaped. The upper line of the muzzle is parallel to the line of the forehead. Superciliary ridges are poorly developed. The parietal crest and occipital part are rounded. Lips are dry, close fitting, without sagging or flaring. Scissor bite. Eyes of medium size, oval, preferably almond shaped, with a sharply oblique slit of the eyelids, set somewhat deeper than in other Lyca breeds, semi frontal set, dark brown and brown in any color. Ears erect, set high, triangular, mobile, in the form of an elongated triangle, with a poorly developed earlobe, sharp. The neck is muscular, dry, oval in cross section. The length is equal to the length of the head. In relation to the longitudinal axis of the body, it is set at an angle of 45 degrees. The chest is wide, deep and long, ovoid in cross-section, lowered to the elbows. The tail is curved steeply in a ring on the back or on the side, it can be bent and sickle, but in this case it must necessarily touch the back. In the straightened state, it should reach the hocks or be less than 1 to 2 centimeters, but not shorter. The coat is a hard straight guard hair and a well-developed, soft and lush undercoat. Due to this undercoat, the guard hair is raised and gives the impression of a uniformly sumptuously dressed dog. On the head and ears, the hair is dense, short, on the neck and shoulders it forms a collar and sideburns behind the cheekbones. At the withers, the hair is elongated, especially in males. Legs covered with short, dense, coarse hair, slightly longer on dorsum, forming feathering on hind legs, but without dulap. On the paws, the hair is short and hard, making its way between the fingers, forming a brush. The tail is well pubescent with straight, stiff hair, longer on the underside, but without dulap. Color white, zoned, peebled, gray, red and brown of all shades. In case of white color, brown nose is acceptable. Distinctive character traits. The Western Siberian Lycas are characterized by a balanced and rather calm type of behavior, while being quite lively and mobile. West Siberian Lyca is less reckless than other huskies, but more hardy and unpretentious. They have a highly developed orienting instinct, intelligence, self-preservation instinct. Like other huskies, West Siberian Lyca is exceptionally independent, which causes certain difficulties in training and training. In well-trained dogs, hunting behavior deteriorates, so the working husky is brought up rather than trained. With the owner, the dog behaves with dignity, even patronizingly, as with a younger brother. During the hunt, dogs often flaunt their skill and prey. In relation to people, West Siberian Lycas are friendly and sociable, but if necessary, they can protect their family members from strangers. Pets, with which they grew up and lived together, are treated calmly, unlike wild or simply unfamiliar animals, which they are ready to pursue with innate aggression. Maintenance and care. West Siberian Lycas are active and need sufficient freedom of movement and exercise. They prefer to live on the street, although if necessary they are able to adapt to life in an apartment. They feel comfortable in almost any climatic conditions, more than other breeds are adapted to a sharply continental climate. The physiology and enzyme composition of the Western European Husky is identical to that of wolves, so experts advise including raw meat in their daily diet. Inherited from wolf ancestors, these huskies inherited an exceptionally efficient metabolism, which allows them to withstand hunger more easily than their relatives and to digest even junk food well. Absolutely exhausted from the hunt, West Siberian Lyca is able to restore strength in a matter of minutes, for this it is enough to feed her. West Siberian Lycas are an exceptionally healthy breed, they hardly get sick and are not prone to injury. 
Wounds received in fights with predators heal quickly, although for dogs of other breeds such injuries could be fatal. Hereditary diseases are not typical for the breed. Price and how to buy. Depending on the purpose of the purchase, the cost of the puppy will differ. Offspring without the possibility of exhibition and further breeding costs from $1,100 US dollars. If there are plans for future puppies as parents, then the price increases by two to three times. Show class puppies are even more expensive, and the price depends on the pedigree and what prizes were received by the parents of the puppies at various exhibitions. If you are looking for a show class puppy, then you need to contact the breeders registered in the Unified International Register of Breeders, where there is a guarantee of pure blood. In this case, a contract of sale must be signed, where all the circumstances are prescribed, in order to avoid misunderstandings. Buying a puppy in unreliable places is a huge risk of getting a dog similar to West Siberian Laika, but not being it. While the dog is small, it is difficult to understand how the puppy meets the requirements.